ideas now that the students discuss this and then they vote. Then they go in on their smartphone or on their laptop and they type in this address uh, on the browser. And then they have to supply this room number. So let me show you how this looks from a teacher point of view. So I have this actually on my smartphone, right? I've asked him a multiple choice question and now I start it. Right, I have it on my smartphone, so the question here, right, that appears on the screen. Um, they don't actually see it. I started on my smartphone. Uh, right, and so this is what the student is presented with then, right? They see the question on the screen and then they go in and say one student thinks the answer is A, another student thinks the answer is B, for example. And so this forces the student to make a, make a choice, but they can make the choice in relative anonymity. Right? And so I see that um, one student has, uh, or half the students have voted A and another half has voted B. So in, in that situation, I would then basically tell them that the vote is split. They should find somebody who voted something different, right? And then we vote again. And actually, nine times out of ten, just from the discussion among the students, they'll, they'll arrive at the right answer. So let me end this. I, I, I show you another feature of Socrative. Uh, that's the short answer form. So it doesn't have to be just um, multiple choice. They can also be short answer forms. So potential disadvantages. Uh, and here I'm asking uh, you as a teacher. So let me show you how that works. Right, I now ask a short answer question. And so now the students here can write in uh, the answer. So for example, uh, one disadvantage of this would be time pressure. If you feel that you have to tell the students everything they need during class, right? this takes away time from that. Uh, so that's one option. Uh, so let's see, what, what could another option be, uh, another uh, disadvantage um, in this? Uh, let's say uh, if the students aren't prepared, right, then they don't really have any basis for discussing uh, this. Okay, and so here you can see, this is what I see as a teacher, two options. And now I can send this out to the students again. And they can now see what everyone else wrote and what they wrote themselves. Right? And they can now vote on what they think is the best answer. So for example, students aren't prepared. No, I think it's the time pressure. Right? Then I get these results and then I can then show these to the students and discuss the top, the top choices. Uh, so again, it's kind of like generating a multiple choice answer key. So this is another very powerful tool that, that I think is unique to, to Socrative. Uh, no, I don't want to report.